Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, let me tell you what really pisses me off. Uh, to see Benjamin Netanyahu being fawned over by our Congress. I'm not saying we should treat him badly, but we should look at him with clear eyes. The settlement movement in Israel is designed to make a Palestinian state impossible which means it would make a peace agreement with the Palestinians impossible. Netanyahu supports that movement. This makes him an enemy of peace, which means he is not our friend. We should be holding his feet to the fire and pressing him to stop the settlements and make moves towards an agreement. It's no secret what is needed for a peace agreement over there. But both right-wing Israelis and Hamas are large problems in the way of it and solutions must be found to both of them. They must both be marginalized. The Israelis must dismantle some settlements, cede East Jerusalem to Palestine, and uh, with the Palestinians create a corridor to connect the West Bank and Gaza. The Palestinians must guarantee Israeli security and that has to be ironclad and that means that they have to risk a war with Hamas if Hamas won't go along with it. The Palestinians must also give up the right of return in exchange for financial assistance to Palestinian refugees. People have known this for years, but both sides pretend that they don't know because of their local politics. We need some statement, statesmanship in the Middle East, and Netanyahu is not the guy who is going to provide it. We should be cultivating relationships with other people in Israeli politics who might have that in mind. It's interesting that some of the most fervent supporters of Israel and Netanyahu hate Jews. They're right-wing Christians and their support of Israel is based on biblical prophecies related to the second coming of Christ and Armageddon. Now I don't think that a fervent wish for the end of the world should guide our foreign policy. Thanks for listening.